Hi. I'm Kelly. And I'm Connor. And welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. disclaimer right now that this video is going to be very long yeah you probably saw that when you looked at the timestamp. Um, this haul is gonna be bigger than the last one yeah the last one was like 40 minutes and it was probably half the size of this yeah this is gonna be long so grab a snack um maybe grab a whole meal yeah have your dinner with us and dessert <laughs> yeah maybe four courses would be good we will link our previous haul in the at the end of this video and that was a Disney Parks haul so that was everything we bought like within Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios like actually there. All of this stuff that you're gonna see is a mixture of Disney Springs. Stores yeah stores at Disney Springs. The outlets. Yeah we went to both outlets the Vineland outlet and the one on International Drive. Um, there's some from the Florida Mall. There's some from the mall. No, I don't think we didn't get anything at the Mall Millennia, right? We just no, ate. we just ate there. That's a funny story. Maybe we'll talk about that. And, um, some of it's from Pop Century Gift Shop because that's where we stayed. Yeah. So we are just going to get started. And just for a time reference, we were there from July 14th through July 28th, so I'm not sure. I, everything that like is not Probably not, not the, the outlet outlets. stuff, yeah, will be gone. Yeah, cause the outlets, I think it changes daily. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're just gonna get started and there's gonna be no order to this. We're not doing it store by store or anything like that. It's just gonna be like a free for all. So I just think it's more interesting that way. Yeah, I wanna start with, um, it's from Sugar Boo. I'll just show you guys the bag. Um, we got a couple of things from there, but I want to show you what I got, which I think is really cool. Uh, I'm like a huge notebook guy, like I love notebooks. And this was $44. I'll take it out of the plastic. Um, I've been waiting to use it so I could show you guys. So I'm really excited that we're filming this. And it has like the rubber band to hold it. And then like the paper is like... Parchment? Yeah, it's like thicker. Like you could use like ink. You know, like not like pen ink, but like... Ink ink. Like yeah. Harry Potter ink. Yeah. Um, what does it say? It's a quote from Jack London and it says, Keep a notebook, travel with it, eat with it, sleep with it, slap into every stray thought that flutters up, uh, slap into it every stray thought that flutters up in your brain. Cheap paper is less perishable than gray matter. And lead pencil markings endure longer than memory. Yeah. And... That was from Sugar Wee, which is in Disney Springs. And, like, that's one of our favorite stores. Yeah. Um, since we went down, like, first went down there together, that is, like, a tradition that Connor and I have, that we always buy something for our home in Sugar Wee. Yeah. So we have, like, a lot of wall pieces from Sugar Wee. This time we only got something small. We'll show you that now. There we go. I'm just, like, a glass orb. Yeah, and then it has, like, a drawn heart in it. Yeah. And how much was that? This was $28. So this I got from the Pop Century gift shop. It's a hoodie. Like yeah. with an actual hood and stuff. And it just says Walt Disney World. And it's like in this rainbow print. And it's kind of like a mustardy yellow. Yeah. It's not like bright yellow. This was $55. $54.99. Yeah. And just so we say in this video too. We're annual pass holders and we get 20% off. Disney World merchandise. I don't know. I th Sugar Boo, we got a discount, but I think it was only 10%. Yeah, it was only 10 There's some stores around Disney, like in Disney Springs that aren't Disney owned, that will um, grant like the discount, but it just depends on the store, like how much. Yeah. And Sugar Boo, I think, is 10 A lot of them do do like cast member discounts, though. Yeah. So like, if you're a cast member. Mac was having, Sephora was having a really good sale. I saw the sign and I was like, ooh, that's going there. And then I like read the small print. And it was kind yeah, it's like cast members only. Uh, but I know Uniqlo does, or they did, I don't know if they still do, but when we first went, I asked if they did discount and they said only for a cast member. This, um, we got on the way down. It 
It is the Georgia Been There mug. Yeah. Um, if you do not know, we collect all of the states and we collect, we collected all the Disney ones this trip. Yeah, which you would have seen in the last one. Yeah. I got this at the co uh, Marketplace Co-op in Disney Springs. In like the art section. And if you watch the vlogs, you'll see me wear this on the night we go to the Villains After Hours. Because I thought it was like a cool, like spooky shirt. Yeah. And I don't know how much this is because we took the tag off. Yeah. Um, probably around 45. Probably no, I think 35. Between like 35 yeah. and 45 is usually like the t-shirt. Yeah. This next one was from the co-op, but it was literally everywhere. I saw it like in the parks. You're moving towards me because I think it's my face that... And it is a Frontierland Magic Kingdom... Yeah. Like, crew neck. Yeah. I just really like the design. This one was... fifty-four ninety-nine. I got two pouches from Sugar Boo. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm a teacher and I literally collect these kind of pouches to put anything in. Yeah. Um, this is just convenient to throw in like my work bag. Do you want to move them closer? Yeah, I'll read them to you guys. Yeah, but... And they were each $16. Sugar Boo's kind of pricey, but I think it's worth it. This is a quote by Yogi Bahan, I think is his name. It's B-H-A-J-A-N. Um, travel light, live light, spread the light, be the light. And the other one is from The Wizard of Oz. And it says, you've always had the power, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself. And I just really like both those quotes. Um, Sugar Boo is very, like, quotey and, like, it's yeah. kind of, like, urban outfittery. Like, is that even a word? Probably not. But it just has, like, that kind of feel to it. Yeah. And pretty much everything has some kind of quote on it. These two things I'm, like, super, super excited about. It's Connor's turn, but I'm taking it. Do you want to move them forward? Or is it my turn? No, it is my turn. Okay. Um, so they are both Kate Spade um, wristlets. And the gold one says, who says we have to grow up? And the silver one says, we have made the fairy tale fashionable again. And I am not lying when I say that I've wanted these for... As soon as she saw them come out, she was like, I need to get yeah. them. We need, we have to go. But I wanted them, and I mean, they're Kate Spade. They're expensive. However, those were at the outlets for $25 a piece. Yeah, normally they were... It has the price tag Is on it? there still, yeah. Um, they were $98 each. Yeah, and I got them for 25 So yeah. it really does, like, pay off to go to the outlets. Um... It is a little bit, like, crazy, but not as crazy as people make it seem. No. I think it's much more doable than people make it seem. And, like, I was nervous because, obviously, like, when you're going in a wheelchair, like, I don't want to, like, bump into people, you know, or, like, not be able to maneuver around. And the stores are, are, they are tinier than I thought they were going yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, but there are, it is, like, wide areas. It's not, like, all shoved together. So... I mean, it was easy for me to move around, and we were in and out in, like, an hour each, probably. The second one, probably, like, a half hour, not even. Yeah. The first one was, like, an hour because they had, like, a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I would recommend it. I mean, at least maybe every other trip. I have to open this one, but I'm excited about this one. I thought this was really cool. But it is this Haunted Mansion Hourglass. And it's got, like... That on the bottom, and it, oh wait, maybe there was a price. Oh, it was normally thirty-five, so twenty dollars off. But yeah, it's like green and like purple, and yeah, it's got like the cool purple sand. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, I I saw it and really liked it. This I got from the Pop Century um store, Everything Pop, and it's a phone case, and it is like if. You've never like driven around Disney. Um, these are what the signs look like to like tell you where to go, the direction signs. And it says where dreams come true straight ahead. Yeah. With the little arrow and like it's identical to the signs and like I just 
We've got Kelly hook, line, and sinker. I had to. This is matching the piece of art we got in the other haul. This yeah. we got at the co-op in the same place I got that Mickey shirt. It is two different art designers, but the color palette is the same. So they will go together, like they'll look fine together. And it's the Tiki Room. Yeah, we love the Tiki Room. And it is by Michael Murphy. And that was $40 before the discount. Yeah. And I don't know if you saw on the front, it does say like Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room at the very yeah. bottom. So yeah, we're very excited about that. Those are like the only two Disney art things we have, I think. Yeah. This shirt I got from the outlet. Yeah. And it was just like a tank top. It was normally 35 and it was on sale at the outlets for 13 And it's Pocahontas. I've never seen it before in the park. It says, can you paint with all the colors of the wind? And then just have a Pocahontas since like a v-neck. Yeah. And it's like super flowy and light and like a light like yeah. lilac color. I got two Alex and Anis from the character warehouse. That is the Minnie Mouse Flower and Garden from this spring, which we were at. Yeah. And this one is Jiminy Cricket. But it has Jiminy Cricket on it and it says, When You Wish Upon a Star. Yeah. And those were both 16 I believe so, yeah. $16. There's no price on them. Uh, yeah, no, there's no price. Yeah, I think they were 16 each. Yeah. Oh, I got this shirt from Uniqlo, which is one of our other favorite stores. You're going to be seeing a lot of Uniqlo merchandise because a lot of it was on sale for like $6. Like this was normally $14.90 and it was on sale for 6 It says Star Wars. And then it has it again on the back. <laughs> and it's like a neon yellow. Orange. Neon orange, sorry. It's a little late. But yeah, we love Uniqlo. Um, yeah. Go in there for Disney merchandise. Like if you're on a budget, you can find like Disney related shirts and clothing in Uniqlo for half the price of in the parks. Yeah. And a lot of the times it's like unique and like really cute different yeah, stuff. Yeah, they have like different designs. Like this is what we're talking about. This is Bo Peep. And it's like her as a keychain. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's Bo Peep and what else is on there? Just polka dots. And her sheep. Oh, yeah, her sheep and then like a car key. Yeah. Or a locker key maybe. So like that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like it's like the characters but it's like in a different... And this was part of like a Pixar vacation line, I think it was called. Yeah. I'm just, uh, and this was from the brand line. This was also on sale. Yeah, this was six dollars, five ninety. Yeah, I think this is the cutest thing in the world. Like I had to get it, and it's a crop top, a white crop top, and it has like a Volkswagen van in the pocket. I'm so excited to wear that. I've like wanted to wear it since we got home. I just think it's so cute. I mean, I don't really like Volkswagen or like care about Volkswagen but like I think it's so cute yeah no I like the brand line was pretty cool in general they had yeah. a lot of cool stuff we got this mug from the outlet yeah the character warehouse and they're still selling this outlet in the park it's Greedo from Star Wars and then it has Star Wars on the other side and it's like all different aliens that make up the print and it's huge like put it up to your head you fit my face in it. Like, it's huge. It's like a reservoir. And normally it was $17, and I think it was on sale for 5 Yeah. 4 or 5 Yeah. I think four ninety nine. And I accidentally got this in a large and a small. Um, and then on the back it has the No Worries Club. Um, but a uh, helpful tip is Uniqlo shirts, when you go up in sizes, don't really get longer like I was buying larges because I thought I needed the length but I put I, I put the small on to see if it would fit you know like as a joke and it was t just like narrower it wasn't like it was maybe like an inch shorter you know not like it wasn't a no, huge difference a in huge length difference. oh no it was maybe like not even half an inch shorter no, I don't even think it was like I don't think it was that it was like 
they, almost the same length. Yeah, they get like boxier. Like they yeah, get they, wider, like, then they yeah. do longer. So if you're like, usually if you size up because of length, like don't do it in Uniqlo. Like it's either going to be the right length or it's not. It's, yeah, because yeah, like those small way. fits on me nice. Yeah. You know, like. And I will say different like collections that come out do have different type of shirts. And you'll see that. And some of the yeah, like the Star got. Wars one was a different cut than this one. Yeah, and these were from the outlet, and they were three ninety nine. And they're normally ten dollars. And there's a Peter Pan one that says, "Here we go, here we go." Um, there's a haunted mansion one that says, "Welcome, foolish mo mortals, to the haunted mansion." Um, re really, this is the reason I got it. There's one that says. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow from Carousel of Progress, and then there's one that says Dead Men Tell, Ted, Dead Men Tell No Lies, <laughs> Dead Men Tell No Tales, which is from obviously Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. But I'm obsessed with Carousel of Progress, so I saw that and I was like, well, <laughs> that's a buy. This is all the unique stuff, guys. We weren't kidding. And I didn't want to do like a unique little haul because they're all t-shirts. Like it's not like we got like a good haul of unique little stuff. It's literally all t-shirts. And most of them are Disney print. So here's another shirt that I got from Unique Low. And I think, yeah, this one was also on, oh, this one was $8. It was $7.90 instead of 15 But it just has like a, you know, like, I guess, like random shape pattern. Yeah. On the pocket and there's nothing on the back. As you can see from what Connor is wearing, he's very much into the pocket. Yeah, like a plain shirt with like a pop of something on the pocket. Yeah. It's like my wardrobe. We got Bailey a dog leash because she has the matching collar, but for some reason we didn't buy the leash last time. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't. But this was $18 and we got this from... Um, World of Disney. Yeah, World of Disney at Disney Springs. They also have pet stuff in Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Actually, I think they're in most shops now. Yeah. They used to be only like Animal Kingdom and like World of Disney had animal stuff and the co-op. Yeah, the co-op has like a dedicated pet store where they have like pet shirts and yeah. collars and stuff. I influenced Kelly's style a little bit too. This was um, on sale for also $8, but it's that same, you know, like plain white tee with a pop pocket. Yeah. And it's from the Scandinavian pattern collection. I like the colors. I think they're very cute. So. Yeah. They're very like pastel y, but then there's the black. These we also got from the character warehouse. I think they they're were five. $5. And normally they were 13 They're post it notes. That's a lot of post it notes, too. Like they're thick. There are 100 notes each, so it's 400 total. Oh, well, and these are like the like flags, you know, to mark pages with. So yeah. there's four of those and then three of the 100 full size. So like down here, they're like the page notes. Yeah, from Uniqlo, and it is blue and black striped. And on like where the pocket would be, there is like fingers crossed, and it says hope on the yeah. fingers. And this was 14.90. Wasn't that on sale though? It might have been, yeah, for probably eight. Yeah. I think this one was on sale. Oh, and it is an actual pocket. They had a lot of cute girl stuff this time. Usually Connor comes out with a ton and I only get like a few things, but this time like most of the cute stuff was women's, I think. Yeah, they had a whole line and I was really jealous of it. Kelly got some of it and you'll see, but there was a whole line that was just women's that I thought was really cool and I wish I could have got some, but. Yeah. This is also from. Dowlet. Yeah. You'll see Kelly wear this on the night we go to the villains after hours party and it's plain on the back it's just but it's got oogie boogie it's super soft it's like yeah. not t-shirt material it's like that super soft cozy material and i think it was 10. and i'm obsessed with oogie boogie i think we both are actually yeah so we had to get him it's like the perfect thing to wear to the villains yeah after hours for me because he wore his uh, mickey mouse shirt that he showed yeah and back to uniqlo this one is mine and this was on sale for $8 as well. It's another plain white shirt with a pocket. And for those of you who are curious, the women's t-shirts go up to a 2X. 
I'm not sure about the men's. I think they would also go up to a 2x. Yeah, at least a 2x. I don't know if they go higher. And I'm not positive about like bottoms or anything because yeah, we haven't, we've I, never bought them. Well, I bought shorts. Oh yeah, he wears shorts from there. I'm actually wearing shorts from Uniqlo right now. Yeah, those are like all he wears. So In the summer, yeah, once it's warm out, I'm in Uniqlo shorts. But I don't know how high they go because you don't wear that biggest size. Yeah, no, I wear a medium. So I, I don't know, it might be like extra small, to extra large or extra, extra large. Yeah. Um, But I think you got a pair, didn't you? Or did you wear them? Yeah, I wore them. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't remember to leave them out. But I don't know about women's bottoms because I don't really buy them because most of it's like pants and stuff and I'm not going to wear that in Disney. This shirt. So, Connor, where were you? Maybe I had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, he went we, to the we, bathroom. We came out of the Christmas store um, and I had to go to the bathroom and Kelly was like, well, while you go to the bathroom, I'm going to run to World of Disney and look around. <laughs> Which is probably like his worst nightmare because like, I mean, it's huge. Like, yeah. And it's, and it's, not, it's not like, oh, I'm going to run over there. It's like, oh, I'm going to go there and like, good luck trying to find me within 20 minutes. So I went over there and I found this gem. It says Walt Disney World, I think, on the pocket. Yeah, and then the back has Donald, Goofy, and Mickey. And it's like very faded in the back. Yeah. And I love the front. Like, I've never seen anything. Yeah, I like that, like, geometric design. Yeah, where I, like, love that simple. And it was $34.99. So I got this from the World of Disney. And it is very, like, vintage looking. And it has, like, the black trim on the sleeves and the neck. And it just has the goofy Mickey, Pluto, and Donald. And it says Walt Disney World. I love it. And it's like a, I don't know how well you can see it in camera, but it's like a cream, like a yellowy yeah, cream. Yeah, it's not white, it's like cream. It's not my usual pocket design, but you know, I figured I would break away for the one time. What's it say? It says good times. It's like a thumbs up. Yeah, and I think this one was also on sale. I think this whole line. Yeah, it was like six or seven dollars. Yeah. So we went to Pink Geek. If you don't know what that is, it's like a, like a nerdy store. Yeah, it's closing. It got bought out by GameStop. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know, um, clothes and it has like a lot of figurines, like collectibles, I guess. Yeah. From like video games and some movies and mostly video games though, I think. Right? Yeah. Or like a lot of like Marvel stuff. Yeah. Uh, and some funny stuff that like yeah. Spencer's would have. This These were two for ten. Yeah, and then you could have gotten like four for twenty, right? Yeah. And this is like a Captain Marvel t-shirt, but I'm going to wear it as like a dress. It's yeah, huge. It's, yeah, we got like the biggest size they had. Um, but yeah, I just thought like the checkered pattern was really cute. And how it's like colored in. Yeah, so I got that, which I'm very happy about. Because I make her go to all the Marvel movies, so. And then this I'll also probably wear as a dress. I mean, who doesn't love NASA and the Vesuvian man? Put it down a little bit. Down a little. Yeah, I thought that was super cute and like, I don't know. I just think it's adorable. Yeah. So, and NASA's like really in right now, so I thought that was like a really good deal. Yeah. To find one for two for ten. And then I got, they were, what, buy two get one? Was yes. that the deal? Yes. Yeah. So I got three t-shirts. The first one, I just thought it was like funny. I think it is so cute. I would have gotten this one down a little. It's like all the popsicles that you would get from like the ice cream truck with like the gumball eyes and like they actually like come out a little bit. Yeah. I think it's so cute. And it's the Avengers, obviously. Yeah. If I was like more into Marvel, I probably would have gotten that. And then the next two shirts are Star Wars because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And I'll be wearing these to Galaxy's Edge when it's yeah. open. But this one is IG-88. He's a bounty hunter. For those of you who don't know, he's a robot. Um, and the other one is... Boba Fett. The, the bounty hunter probably everybody who knows Star Wars knows. Down. Down, 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 down. And that one was 22, so I don't know if it was like, yeah, it was probably like, they were both 22 and then you got one for free. This is one of the things that Kelly got that I'm real jealous about. 
It was like an only women's line. And like I'm literally obsessed with all of it. Good. It's like this pink mauve color. And it says, live fast, live long. And I'm trying to see what the name, it's the Rise Again by Verdi. If you hold it up, you can kind of see that it's not like your average t-shirt. Like the sleeves are longer um, and like flowier. And yeah. the neck is a little bit higher if you move yeah. it down a little bit. Yeah. And I think most of the stuff from this line is that same cut. So this is one of those dress shop dresses. Here, bring it over towards me so you're like... And this I got from the outlets. Well, it's Monsters Inc. themed. It's all the doors. And then, I don't know who you can see, but they have like Sully, they have Mike, they have... Boo. Um, Boo, Randall. Yeah, they're like popping out of the doors. And they have the guy who had the white sock on him and, you know, they, he gets shaved. Um, so that dress was originally $128, and I got it for 25 at the outlet. Yeah. So that was like a really good find, and we just happened to be there on the day that they had, um, dress shop dresses. I guess that's like... The yeah, other like come in randomly. Yeah, because there was a lady behind us talking about it. And then this is the other one Kelly got. Same price. I love the top. Show the top first. Got, like the buttons and like the little collar and then it's magic kingdom so it had like the castle space mountain small world, small world. haunted mansion splash mountain it pirates has the dog from pirates and the it? ship yeah and dumbo and the teacups the train. Tiki Room, Jungle Cruise. So yeah, that again was $128 and I got it for $25 at the outlets. And both of those and the Kate Spade purses were at the Vineland outlets closer to the parks. Yeah. And if you're going to pick one, I would pick going to that one. Yeah. Although it's more busy. They had they like more stuff. More stuff and like a lot like newer stuff. And I don't want to say better stuff, but like those ticket items that like you're looking for. They yeah. had like a spirit jersey, but I didn't like it. It was like the neon yellow, yellow one. I would have gotten it if it was like a different color. I was looking, I was, that was why I originally went there. I was looking for spirit jerseys, but then we found all the other stuff. So back to Uniqlo, this is a shirt Kelly got. They had a line just come out for the Lion King because it came out while we were there. And this is like a flowy shirt. Like yeah. the sleeves are flowy, the bottom flowy. It's not t-shirt material. Um, That's the pocket. And it says, I just can't wait, no. Just can't wait to be king. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's really cute. And this was full price, this was fifteen, fourteen ninety. Yeah, because it was like a new line. Yeah. This is a shirt Kelly got from the World of Disney. Oh. It's like really cool. Yeah, Connor wanted it, but it wasn't in his size. Yeah. It says Walt Disney World, and it has things from all the parks. Yeah. Like different attractions or like iconic things. Like the castle or the tree of life or the tower of terror yeah but the coolest thing about it is when you flip it around it's like a concert you know or like yeah. a band tee but it has like the rides or parks and their opening dates yeah like um the first one it has is cinderella castle october 1st 1971 and it goes all the way down to pandora world of avatar may 27 2017. And like it looks like vintage -y. like yeah. the pictures are kind of faded a little like Yeah. Like it looks like imperfect but intentionally it's imperfect. So cute. Yeah, and it was twenty four ninety nine, but I think it was by two like in their twenty two dollars each. You got like two dollars off yeah. each shirt. Yeah. So these are from the Florida Mall and they are just torrid leggings. And this one has like a flower detailing. Around the ankle. And it might be around the waist, too. I don't think so. No, just around the ankle. And then these, so you'll see in the vlog. They have, like, cut out. Like, flower cutouts around yeah. the ankles. And you'll see in the vlog, um, our friend Jess came down for a day. Or, I guess, up for a day. And she was wearing the cutout ones, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm in love with those. We went to the Florida Mall a few days later, and that tour had, had them, so... I had to pick them up and those I think how much were those um I, I think it was buy one get one half off yeah and they were 
$28.90, so $29 each. Yeah, but then you bought one and you got the other one. Yeah, half off. Yep. And I've never tried toward lighting, so we will see how that goes. This is uh, from that same line, the Verdi line. It says break the mold. And it's that same like long sleeve, short cut, but high neck. And then on the back, it also says like break the mold and that like retro kind of font. I just think it's really cute. Yeah. Like the whole line was like inspirational like sayings. And I pretty much think I got one of every type of shirt that they had. Mm -hmm. And how much was that one? Uh, fourteen ninety. This is like probably my favorite thing I bought the entire trip, which is kind of ironic because it's not from the Disney parks. It's from the Disney store from the in Disney the Florida store mall. Disney store in the Florida mall, but like. I'm like obsessed, like obsessed. And it's a denim jacket and it's got all the dogs of Disney. Dalmatians, of anyway, yeah. Dalmatians, the dog from Little Mermaid, the yeah. pug from Pocahontas. Pocahontas, the dog from the short, the Pixar short, Bolt. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. I wanna show them the front. But it's like a super light denim jacket, um, just like color wise and um, like, like weight. weight. And I don't really wear jackets because it's just harder for me to move in them. And but this one's like perfect, it's yeah. so light and like feels like you're wearing kind of like a cardigan, it's super soft. So, and that was $70, so that was kind of like a plunge, but I couldn't not get it. This is another sweater Kelly got and it was 50. It's from the co-op, the art section. Um, so like an artist drew this print. Yeah. And, and it's just, just Mickey Mouse and like all different. This is like 1928 and it's got him in a bunch of different poses and it, it's by Nat Hawkins. Yeah. So anything like that that we see in like the art store on the co-op we usually pick up because I just think like it's awesome seeing like people's like spin on. Yeah. Disney. And that, I think that's part of the reason why we, met, why we like Uniqlo too. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, an artist's unique rendition. Yeah, it's like a, it's Disney but it's like different. Yeah, there's some kind of a twist. Um, this is a shirt that I got and it's part of the Lion King line. Again, it's that pocket, but it's like that iconic scene of them crossing the log. And how can you say no, you know? That was 15, 15. Yeah, fourteen ninety. Yeah. Yeah, all the, uh, it's like all their shirts, t-shirts tend to be the same price. But the good thing about Uniqlo, especially if you live in that area, is it cycles so fast. Like, as soon we left, like that started when we got there and when we were leaving, a new one was coming in. Yeah. And like the break the mold and like the other shirt I got that was starting when we got there. It's like at least once a month they have a whole new line in. Yeah, or they have like multiple lines at the same time like the Lion King and that one were happening at the same time. Yeah. But as those are happening things that um, were previously happening are now clearance. Yeah. So if you see something you really like and you're like around that area you can just hold off because they have a ton of like sizes. Yeah. And um It'll just like cycle through to the clearance stuff. Yeah. Like Connor got that Star Wars shirt that was like from a few months ago. Yeah. That the like Star two Wars months, line. Because he actually ordered stuff online from that line, and it was there on clearance when we got there. Yeah. So I mean, it's always worth like going there. Like you'll see in our vlogs, we popped in there like six or seven times because every time we're in Disney Springs. Yeah, it's constantly changing, and they'll like pull stuff from the back that was released months ago or like new yeah. stuff's coming. I saw on my Instagram that they had a different line that was like all princess stuff. Oh really? Like for girls. Like I mean not yeah. like little girls but like me. Yeah women. Women. Yeah I was like I can't find that word. What's the big girl called? <laughs> it's women. Um so this next sweater sweatshirt sweater sweatshirt crew neck is um Kelly's and she got it where? The World of Disney. And it was $50. And it has like light blue sleeves, the gray main part, and this writing, can you could do like close a, up? Well, like a navy blue trim, yeah. and then it's the same on the end of the sleeves. And then if you move it closer, the writing's in like this cute corally peach color. 
and it's like outlined in white and like i just thought it was cute i like the different color I like the black coloring of it this is also another one of my favorite things i got and this is from Uniqlo. Yeah, the same. Verdi brand. And it has like flowers and like butterflies and it says... Look into... Look, in, look into myself. Yeah, look into myself and it has like a little bird. Yeah. Two birds. Three, Three birds. Yeah. By the time we show you all this stuff, summer's gonna be over. Yeah. So... <laughs> this is... was part of the Pixar line. And the shirt we showed you was also uh, 14 dollars and so was this one. And Kelly got this one. I'm kind of jealous because I like it a lot. Why didn't you get it? I don't think they had my size. It has Forky on it from Toy Story 4. Yeah, and then like in the design, you can see like Woody and just Woody and the Pixar ball. Yeah, like in the pocket, the like bandana print. Yeah. And I just thought that was super cute, so. That one, I feel like I've said super cute about everything, but, so I apologize. This next shirt was also part of the, it's the Pixar Vacation line, that's what it's called, and it's also 15. It has all the Monsters, Inc. characters as ice cream cones. Yeah. And it says, I scream, you scream, we all scream. That is like, I mean, come on, like, how could you, like, how could you... Like physically go into that store, see that, and be like, no, I don't think yeah, I'm gonna no, buy that. I don't think I'm gonna get that one. And then our final Uniqlo item, I think this is mine or yours. Mine. Yours. It's another one of like those flowy fits. Yeah, and it's uh, from the Lion King line, as you'll see, obviously. And it's also fifteen dollars, but it's that same like iconic tree branch, yeah. tree log scene. Like again, you can't not. Yeah, how can you, like, say no? I don't know. We didn't, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, next is one of the shirts I got. I got this from the, um, World of Disney store. This is Empire Strikes Back, and it's just, like, another Star Wars shirt. I don't know, I really like it. It's got, like... He's, like, gearing up for our galaxy's edge. Yeah. He's gonna have a Star Wars shirt every day because... I guarantee we will be in Hollywood Studios probably every day. She's not wrong. <laughs> We're in the home stretch, guys. This we got from Starbucks. Starbucks in Disney Spring, the one next to World of Disney, not the one over by um, the Disney Style Store. Yeah. It's like know. the Disney Starbucks and they always have like Disney drinks on the menu. But it says Florida and it's like that like neon like, like, 80s. like 80s. Yeah and I thought I saw it and I thought it was really cool and I was like should we get that and Kelly was like of course. Yeah I can't say no to cups. So yeah. If Connor's like offering one I'm like yes. I know I, I, I don't know I like that like Miami fever you know like. Or like Miami vice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I'm Miami Fever, like, 70s. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're right. I meant to say Miami Vice. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that, like, neon 80s. Oh, this is a shirt Kelly got that I'm jealous of because it's, like, a women's cut, I think. Yes. It's a cropped, um, hoodie. And it is the great movie ride, which I miss. I know. So much. So many good memories on that ride. Yeah. Like, I would close my eyes and, like, make Connor cover my eyes during the alien part every time it's so soft too it's like that yeah it's not like um a crew neck feeling it's like that thin yeah like breathable. Disney hoodie material if you know what i mean and it says the great movie ride a spectacular journey into the movies and like we loved that ride yeah we were there for the closing of it yeah like we loved it so much and yeah, we would go on it and like I would make Connor literally like I would close my eyes and then I'd make him cover my eyes over the alien part and then like the last time we were going to be able to ride it and I was like okay I'm going to open my eyes for the alien part I'm going to just do it and like we got to it and I like couldn't do it I was so scared so I have no idea like what that looked like I mean I do because I watched it on YouTube but like I don't in no, person like, know yeah, what that person. is because I would get so scared before like as we were going into the ride or like as we we're going into that room, I would be so scared. Yeah. 
So that's a little fun fact. And that was forty. It was thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. And Disney Sally, you do get like the twenty percent off. Yeah. Okay. That's the last one. Yeah. We've we've made it, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually from the Disney store. At the Florida Mall. Yeah. And it is just like a light jean short sleeve shirt that I will wear over another t shirt or a dress. And it has Simba, Pumba, Zazu, Timon. Um and that's it I think, right? Yeah. Oh no, Rafiki. Oh, Rafiki on it. Yeah. And it's so cute. It just buttons up and it's like that light denim, but it doesn't feel like denim. Yeah, no, it feels like... Soft. Yeah, like really soft. And that was how much? This one was, I think, 40? Yeah, thirty-nine ninety-five. Forty. So, um, and you do not get annual discount at the outlets or the Disney store, which I think is kind of like not right. What's the tea? Yeah, hey, they could throw us a bone. Like, come on. That $70 jacket and that $30 shirt, that could have used 20% off. But no, I mean, it's worth it alone in the parks. But, like, how cool would that be if you got 20% off? Like, when you're not at Disney, like, you got yeah. to, like, go to a Disney store and use your annual pass card. I try to use it at, like, Taco Bell, like, when we get out of there. Do you take annual pass? Can I get a discount for this? <laughs> um, well... That's it. So if you made it through, thank you so much for watching and we hope you like what we showed. Yeah, and we love Disney stuff. I know this seems like a lot of money, but um Connor and I save our money for Disney trips. Like that's something that we like to Yeah, that's like our splurge on. Yeah. So we like, like to, our guilty pleasure. Yeah, we like to you know, splurge on the actual, like, going and, like, the spending. We always have, like, special funds that we use just so we can, like, be able to buy stuff there because it's kind of, like, our favorite place. Yeah, it really is, like, our favorite place in the world. Yeah. So please don't tally this up or let me know how much it was. And thank you guys so much for watching. Yes. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will link the last haul. Um, it's from the same trip, but yeah. we just split it up in two. And, yeah. Like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. We are so happy to have all of you, and just to, like, share our love for Disney with other people is so exciting. And, yeah. Um, at the end of this video, our Instagram and our Twitter will be up. And please go follow us on Instagram, because we do post, like, more often there yeah we don't post so much on twitter <laughs> yeah we really don't use twitter that much but instagram we are posting like pretty regularly yeah so yeah go follow us on there and thank we'll you guys so much for watching yeah and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye. bye.